see here up on the screen, there is a server 2016 published desktop running. So I'm going to walk you through Netscape and MERS and what you can see on your Citrix network in the state by using MERS. So if we log into the console, click on the hamburger menu up there, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into networks, sites and IP blocks. Here you will define all your subnets that your Citrix network runs on and as well as the location with the longitude and latitude. Then you'll add a site and assign the IP blocks to the site that they reside. And then from here, you can see in the dashboard a nice graphical display with all your information and the current alerts for your Netscalers in those regions. If you click on a region, you can see all the Netscalers that you have running there. The next thing you'll want to do is you will want to set up an admin profile. This is effectively admin credentials to connect to the NSIP of the Netscalers. Then you'll add the Netscaler in, select a profile and connect to it. And this is the dashboard that you get out of the box with Netscaler Maz. You don't have to do anything to get this. It's just there and ready for you. You can see information around the Netscaler, how it's performing, the interfaces you've got running, whether it's a primary or secondary node, and the licensed features on that Netscaler itself. Moving on, this is again out the box, so you don't have to do anything to get this. It's an SSL dashboard and it will display info on all your SSL certs that you have running on your Netscalers. Very useful for those SSL certs that you think may be expiring. This will alert you on that. These event messages, so these are all the events that the Netscalers are generating. They're sent to MAS. Here you can set up event rules to alert yourself based on an event message. What you can see here is that if you don't select a criticality for the event message, it will alert on all of them. Here, so I've got an event set up for a Netscaler config change, but you can see the options here are outstanding. There, there is literally hundreds of different options. You can pick up any alert on the Netscaler that it will generate and pick it up with a rule. You can pick which Netscalers you want that alert to be generated for. And then down at the bottom here, you can set up an alert rule. So I've got a email alert to send an email message to myself if there's any config change made on any of the Netscalers in my Liphook data center. Another great feature is configuration audit. It will give you information um, of config differences between running and save config. And also you can set up a audit templates. So these audit templates are effectively lines in the nsconf file that you want on your Netscaler, regardless of whether they're in the nsconf or not. So you can see here, my audit template says I need that server on there. It's not on my Netscaler, so I can create a job Give it a name to resolve the audit config. Hit next, pick the Netscaler, it'll automatically select the one that it differs on. Click all the way through this wizard and then finish. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the difference from your config audit and execute a job on that Netscaler to put it right. So if you click here, you can see this is the job that it ran. You can see it's run successfully. And if you go into details, you can see the commands it ran on my Netscaler to remediate that config audit that we had in place. This is an important one, licenses. When you install MERS out of the box, it will automatically select all your vServers. However, you only get 30 for free, so go in select the vServers you want to manage click next and you can select uh, content switching servers 
GSLB virtual servers or Netscale gateways, and then hit finish, and then your MAS will only monitor the virtual servers that you would like it to rather than auto selecting all. Moving on to applications, these are an application is effectively another name for a virtual server or a group of virtual servers. You can click on any application within MAS and see instant red, amber, green status for that application. You can see a performance index and you can also configure the application direct from MAS. So this means you don't have to log into your Netscaler GUI to make config changes. You can make it directly for that specific application within the management and an analytics appliance. Moving down to analysis, so this is where you're going to spend a lot of your time in Netscaler MAS. If you click on Web Insight and then Applications, this will give you insight into how your web apps are performing on your Netscalers. You can change your time frame based on license and see your throughput. You can select multiple options here and it will instantly display another graph with bandwidth and throughput. You can get information about URLs hit or the clients used to hit them or the response code that the, the web traffic was giving behind that load balancer. Gateway Insight is another great tool of MAS. It will save you trawling through the NS logs to find out what happened when users can't log onto your gateway or when they get authentication failures or EPA scan failures. You can pick a user and see exactly why they couldn't log into that gateway. And it will give you a nice GUI with a reason why. It will also display the session types that you had, the browsers that they used. You can also see the number of users on or any active sessions on your gateway at that point. We switch to active sessions. You can see there's one active session and that's my published desktop that I showed you earlier. So if I click on my session name there, it will give me information about my bandwidth and my client IP address and some other various high level gateway information. Through here, you can also get stats about the applications that have been launched via the gateway. So it'll give you a number of individual apps that are launched, how many times they've launched, what the duration, the average duration for those apps were. And then finally moving into HDX Insight. So this is the ability to look inside the ICA channel. And you can see there, there's my session that I'm running at the moment. It's showing my round trip time and my latency. One of the useful diagrams that you get in MAS is this little network diagram. So you can see instantly the latency between my endpoint and the Netscaler, and then the latency between the Netscaler and my backend servers within my data center. It's very easy to troubleshoot where the network problems are using MAS. You can also see here a breakdown of my ICA channel and how much bandwidth individual components of that ICA channel are using. You get statistics on license usage. And a split between desktop and application users on MAS. So you can see who's using what and details about each session. 